Well, how to do there, boys and girls? Today's lesson is about the Phrygian scale, and it ain't really got anything to do with this Western shirt or anything. I just wanted to look spiffy. So the Phrygian is one of the diatonic modes. If you don't know what those are, you can Google it, or I'll make a video about it sometime soon, but we ain't going to talk about it here. Um, so we're going to do this in the key of A today, but remember that these shapes that we're going to learn can be moved anywhere on the neck because the bass is tuned symmetrically, meaning there's the same interval distance between each of the sets of two strings. So any shape you learn, you can just move anywhere you want and play it in a different key, which is pretty cool. So, hair flip. To follow along for this lesson, click below, download the PDF, it's totally free. You don't have to give me your email or anything like that, just get it so you can follow along. And we're gonna start at the top of the page with the uh, first shape. We're gonna learn two different shapes to play the Phrygian scale today. And we're gonna start with uh, the one beginning on your first finger of your left hand, which looks like this. starting on the uh, fifth fret of the E string rather than the open A string just because I want this to be a shape that you can move around and obviously you can't move an open string because they're stuck over there. So let's just uh, play along together very very slowly at first. This is for the ultra beginners out there. We're just going to go half notes at 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again, this time we'll do quarter notes, so we'll be playing twice as fast. Here we go. One, two, you know what to do. One. So Phrygian is one of the least used of the diatonic modes in my, uh, to my knowledge. Um, it's mostly good for making sort of rock, metal sorts of riffs. It's not really used in jazz very much. Um, it's not really a funk thing or a soul thing or anything. It's really just, it just rocks. Um, it's got that, that B flat there, which is the, uh, the minor second. That's really the distinctive note of this scale. So um, this one's, you know, not as useful as maybe the Dorian scale, the Mixolydian scale, the minor scale. Um, but it's good to know and uh, it's fun to play with and explore the sounds of. So. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, minor second is really the distinguishing feature here that makes Phrygian Phrygian. So if that's uh, too easy for you, you can play it as eighth notes as well. Or you can play the sixteenth notes if you want to. Um, but I won't bother with that for now. The reason I'm teaching these little one octave boxes is because eventually you're going to want to move all over the neck with these and not be stuck in one position. But you have to start by just knowing the scales well within the confines of one octave, in my opinion. So that's why we're staying in these little boxes for now and eventually in other videos we'll uh, start sweeping across the fingerboard more because who doesn't want to do that? So that's the first shape we're using starting on our first finger. We've got three notes on the E three notes on the A and two notes on the D string. Uh, this next shape we're going to be starting on our second finger and now we're going to have the first two notes on the E string, three on the A and three on the D. So we're scooting the third and the sixth over a string basically. And it's going to look like this. So this is a little bit more of a stretch, and I know people are going to comment, Dude, your hands are so big! I can't do that! My hands aren't as big! Um, watch videos of Victor Wooten, and he I've seen him stretch an entire fourth from a D to a G, and he is a short dude with small hands. So, I'm just covering my bases here, because I know some my bases. Ha! <laughs> I know somebody's gonna say, my hands aren't big enough to do that stretch, and I would argue that um, it's just about finding the right angle, and if you're only stretching a major third from the, uh, from the bottom note of this position to the top, and I think that people of various hand sizes should be able to do that, and that's my experience with my students uh, over the years. 
And if you can't accommodate that whole stretch, you can shift as you go a little bit like this. Just little micro shifts to accommodate the size of your hand. So please, I hope that'll abate some of the, uh, the comments that will happen in the future. So let's try this again, quarter notes at 80 beats per minute uh, with the second finger starting position. And remember to repeat the top note. One, two, you know what to do, uh. And really listen to that minor second when we come back down. And we're gonna repeat one more time. That's gnarly, huh? So those are the main two shapes that I use to play the Phrygian scale in one octave, and I highly encourage you to move that around to different keys besides just starting on an A. You know, just start on every other of the 11 available notes. Anywhere on the E string or the A string will work since it's only a uh, three string encompassing position. And uh, just mess around. You just take the exact same fret relationships and slide it. It's, it's awesome. Playing bass rocks. So I wrote a cool little riff that we can jam on uh, using the Phrygian scale and I'll just demonstrate it for you here. It's, uh, it's all on the A string. One, two, three, four. Phrygian sort of sound is just do those sort of pedally open string riffs that are really typical of a lot of different uh, types of metal. It's just a cool way to make your riff sound fast and like gnarly, but you don't actually have to do that much with your left hand because about 75% of the notes are just your open A string. Um, so you have that all written out on your PDF. Your right hand is seriously just going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's nothing fancy about it. You can put a little rhythmic emphasis in places if you want to, but that's totally optional. So you're just literally just going one, two, one, two, one, two. Very easy. And then the left hand fingering doesn't actually matter that much here because we've got so much uh, space in between left hand notes with the uh, open A string going. So you can use the fingering I have written there, or just do whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. The only point of left hand and right hand fingerings is to uh, make it easiest to play. And in this case, there's a variety of things you could do. All right, let's just crank this sucker up to the uh, performance tempo of 80 beats per minute. One, two, three. You now know the Phrygian scale, so you can go forth and rock. If you like these lessons, check out patreon.com slash joshfossgreen and learn how you can become a part of them and make them even more awesomer. And uh, last thing, October 12th, 11 a.m. Pacific Time, live hangout right here on YouTube. Uh, I'll be here, you'll be here, you'll ask me questions, I'll answer them, I'll play some music, we'll hang out, it'll be fun. All you have to do is subscribe and uh, you will be notified duly. That's October 12th, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.